most valuable questions that you can ask your doctor or cardiologist is who they would want to operate on them or send their loved one to. The internet is a great resource, one powerful website for public reporting of actual outcomes of heart surgery in the United States is through the Society of Thoracic Surgery that can be found on the website www.sts.org. Risk is influenced by the age of the patient, the basic overall medical condition, and to the extent to which the heart has been injured. The majority of patients who need heart surgery have fairly reliable symptoms that have progressed usually with time. These might include worsening shortness of breath with exercise, worsening fatigue that is otherwise unexplained, chest pressure or pain, all associated with early signs of heart failure or compromised circulation to the heart muscle. But it's also not unusual to have very little, if any, symptoms. Technologies such as ultrasound or echocardiography can reveal trouble that should be addressed before it gets worse. Each patient is different and heals at a different pace. If you need heart surgery, know that the recovery phase is a process that takes time. The majority of those who undergo heart surgery will be back to normal within two or three months after surgery. It's best to talk to your insurance company to ask about cost before you actually have surgery.